Alright, here's that five horse Briggs that I had in the other video. Uh, at school today, I talked to my friend and I told him what it would take to fix it. You know, to get it to stop smoking. And he said, you know, forget about it. It wasn't worth it to him. Since he had already replaced it with a different engine, this one would have been just a backup. So, he said, just take it, and I, I, now it's mine, and, you know, we'll have to see what it's worth and see if any of the parts are good on it. I took the crankshaft out just to take a look and see, uh, see how bad the damage really is. When I told him it would need board and a uh, new connecting rod, I was telling him the worst case, you know, scenario, if it was all it was damaged beyond, you know, reasonable, cheap repair. And he said it just wasn't worth it, worth it to him anyway, so. You can see the scores on the crankshaft. Running your finger on there, you can, you can feel them, but they're not very deep. So that might be just alright. The connecting rod was the same way. Light scores, but not too bad. And looking at the block here, you can see sometime in the past somebody did one of those ignition conversions on it. They put that little solid state ignition module on the old coil and just snipped the wire for the clip for the uh, breaker points. Now, I don't depend too much on these little overhaul things, so I'll uh I'll take that little solid solid state module off and redo it, rework it back for breaker points. Yeah. The bore is still not in good shape. I don't know if I'll run this engine on anything. It'll probably still smoke a little bit. I can feel the grooves that are carved in. I don't know if you can see them. not a bad bore for an engine that's 30, 31 years old. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. The carburetor's alright. The carburetor and the gas tank are fine. I'll save them in any case. Um... The inside of the block's alright. You can see where, at some point, the engine, uh, threw its connecting rod, put a couple little cracks in the block, and they attached it with JB weld. Luckily, it didn't go all the way through the block, so, probably take it in and just have it welded, just scrape the rest of that JB weld off of there, and and uh have somebody who can who's good at welding aluminum just put a bead over that crack and seal it up forever i know somebody who will do that for free so that's good the valves they looked all right no problems with them i'll just hold, i'll just take them out and clean them all up wire wheel them and lap them back in if if the seats are a little worn and just a general cleanup of everything. You can see it's got this really thick, greasy stuff on it. And uh, one other thing is the exhaust. Let's see, turn it to the light. The bolt holes for the exhaust for the muffler, they're all, the threads are all rounded out. So I'll just, I'll drill them out and I'll either helicoil them or just tap them for the next size up and get a larger size bolt. You know, not a big deal. So, that's it.